Uh, she was being asked about how the parks are, 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 are how Disney's going to manage inflation specifically at the parks. One of the things she said was that one of the options they're looking at is uh, uh, low, uh, cutting the portion sizes uh, of what they serve and how that would be good for people's waistlines. And while I have an issue with it to a degree, it's not what I want to talk about. They're talking about cutting portion sizes to hedge against inflation, which means they will charge more and give less, which is now the official motto of Walt Disney World. Pay more, get less. The deeper issue for me, the reason there is no apology for that comment is because Disney doesn't just not care about their fans, they hold us in disdain. They hold us in disdain. I've mentioned multiple times uh, that there have been occasions where I've been places and having conversations with people that work for Disney. And when the word Disney fans is mentioned, there is an eye roll. Um, they did a very good job for a long time keeping that behind closed doors. But I'm afraid, and, and, and I have to be honest, I, lay this, I, I, I have to lay this at Josh DeMauro's feet as chairman of Parks and Resorts. Uh, it has now been codified as policy. Screw the fans. Statement reads as such, quote, Bob has a conflict in L.A. on Friday night and couldn't make it to Orlando, couldn't make it back to Orlando on time. Your post is ridiculous and you've really stooped to a new low by making this up. This is an official statement from uh, Jackie Whaler, a Disney representative who we commonly get phone calls from, you know, when Disney needs me to clean up their messes in general. Um, some of you may be surprised by the language they chose to use after the Scarlett Johansson thing and after having dealt with Disney for 14 years. I'm not really surprised by this. This is just kind of how their public affairs and PR departments uh, react to these things at this point. Hey everybody, what's up? It is me, Gamma Mickey, with Magical Mickey Family. I'm a YouTube channel that uh, follows the fun adventures of going to Walt Disney World Parks. And if you're new to our YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button. Okay, if you watched the video that I had posted, I put that on my TikTok because I've been watching a lot of videos that have been posted lately from Diz Unplugged and now today from Walt Disney World News Today. And I will put the links of both of those videos down in the description below so you can go watch both of those full videos. Basically, what's going on is Disney executives from all tiers of, from Bob Chapek all the way down to Josh DeMuro. They've lost touch of reality on where Disney fans think and feel about what has been going on in the parks. And I understand that there was COVID that caused a lot of these issues, but it has really like come to me to my family personally, to where we were really considering not either going on our trip in 60 days or changing it to maybe go to Universal more of it. And it's sad. It's really sad that I'm even having this discussion with my family when we're 60 days out from our vacation. And what we're mad about is we're mad about just how they seem to not care. And I feel like it's time for us as influencers, even though I only have like 400 people that follow me here on my social media, I do get a lot of like questions from people that I live with in the community. And my community is not very big, but... I have a lot of people that ask me, well, how do you do Disney trips and things like that? <clears throat> so I'm at a point where I don't know if I will encourage people to go to Disney World anymore. I'm almost at the point where I want to encourage them to go to Universal. So let me just give you a general 
kind of like synopsis as to what's been going down with our family. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the total amount of money. You guys are gonna freak out <laughs> that we are spending on this trip. Now, mind you, there's no discount. There's not been a release of a discount for staying at our resort or any other resorts right now. Now, people who are coming from Europe or international travelers, there is discounts for them. However, there is nothing that has been officially released for regular Disney people going. And in the past, they've always released that prior to Christmas, like all of their spring dates, so to speak, would be discounted. And we were kind of hoping on that to add that to our food fund. Now, mind you, let's go back to 2019. When we went back in 2019, our vacation trip was basically including to the resorts that we were staying at, it included not just the four of us, me and my girls, it also included my husband coming for portion of the trip and my son paying for all of our airfare, also including the dining plan. And we stayed for 10 days, not nine. Now that whole trip, including everything was about 10,000. This trip is coming out to be around 15 grand total once it's all said and done. And you're probably hearing this and going, oh my God, what the heck are you doing? Why would you spend that kind of money to go to Disney World? That seems ridiculous. But for someone who is like me and probably other people that are watching this video, we're huge Disney fans. And if we can afford it and we have a way to figure it out, we're going to do that. And that's what a lot of Disney fans have done over the years. However, I'm starting to get to the point now and the girls and I really were debating on whether or not to change our plans so that we could save money. We are really irritated at the fact that this trip is actually costing us five grand more. We have less of us going. There's no airfare tickets included. We still don't have the dining plan. We also in 2019 did a special event. We did the um, dessert party event where you can watch the fireworks show and then have the dessert party. So we had that. Um, all of these things were included in our last trip that was $5,000 less. And I get it, inflation has gone up, gas prices have gone up, all of this COVID stuff. But what really irritates me is the way that the Disney executives since that time period have been pretty much treating not just influencers, Disney influencers that I follow, but just the general public. Last night we had a conversation and we were really debating on whether or not to even go. And we came to the assumption after everything that we have been watching with what's going on on Dis Unplugged and now today with Walt Disney World News Today, I'm like really irritated on how people in the executive branch of Disney are treating these influencers. Because people who listen to those channels, they listen to them because they're wanting advice, tips, they wanna be excited about going to Disney World, and they really do help shape like a lot of people's dreams and visions of their Disney trip. We're spending a lot of money to go to do these things. So we want to get the best opinions and advice that we can find. And when you have people like that that are being disrespected, it makes you go, if that's how they're treating them, then how are they going to be treating me? They don't care about me. And that's the part that makes me really angry. That they're not understanding what the vision was that Walt originally had with creating the Disney parks. It was about making it easier and funner for families to spend time together. So it's almost like Disney parks are, it's all about the dollar for them. The people who are in charge now, it's all about the dollar for them. So I am on here venting because I'm trying to, I can't influence more than just the people that are in my inner circle. I can encourage them, hey, go spend your money at Universal and maybe go buy a ticket for a day and go to one of the parks over at Disney or whatever, but do not go and spend your money by staying on property. 
we will probably not do that again until these executives either leave or they start changing. So my next trip, which I have planned to go in May, may change. And I'm irritated about that because I love Disney and I don't like what these executives are doing to it. They're, they're killing the magic. They're killing the whole purpose as to why any of us want to go. Um, it's very sad to me to watch what's happening. And it's not just happening at Walt Disney World. It's happening at Disneyland too. Like with the whole key thing, the magic key thing for their annual pass holders. I've heard stories about key members not like they get their annual pass and they can't even get in the parks at all during December because the whole month of December has been blocked out. So you can't even like get a reservation to get in the parks, even though you have an annual pass. Like it makes no sense. Like what's the point of having an annual pass if you can't even use it to go into the parks? These are the things that are really changing my perspective as to where I'm going to be spending my money in the future. And I'm hoping that they will change because I love to go to Disney World for the magic that we give to Aubrey. She's third generation Disney fan. And I just can't imagine what the parks are going to be like if they keep going this route for the future. For, you know, what's going to happen. The next generation of Disney fans, it's just, it's different. It's, it's sad and I'm frustrated. So I'm asking you guys who might be watching this, if you love Disney as much as I do, then you've got to speak out. Like that's the only way it's going to change. We, or we have to like stop putting our money towards Disney. Like we're at the point now where we can't change. Like we, we really considered canceling the vacation or downgrading to moderate level. And, uh, so there's some things that we're going to be doing. We, we decided not to do that because of the amount of money and time that we have put into it. And we really want to just try and keep the magic alive for Aubrey. So we're not going to buy the Disney Genie Plus at all. I'm not even going to put that money into it. I will not do it. I'm not supporting that program because I don't believe in it. I think it's ridiculous that you're paying crazy amounts of money to get into the parks and now they want you to pay even more money just to get in a fast pass lane or to um you know get on rise of the resistance it's not that important to me that's not what disney is it's not about the rides for me and it's not about the crazy merch so we're reducing what we're going to get as far as merch goes each one of us is going to pick one particular thing that we want to get from the parks for the 50th anniversary. We're even reducing like where we're going to be eating. Before we were all excited about eating at all these different sit down restaurants, we're picking five for out of nine days. So the rest of the days we're gonna be spending it at just snacking or doing um, a value type of meal, you know, instead of doing a sit down fancy restaurant. So it's sad that my trip is now all about kind of giving it back to Disney and sticking it to them because I feel like they're sticking it to us and it makes the trip not as exciting because we can't do certain things that we wanted to do because we just can't afford it and it makes the whole trip just kind of have a vibe already over it that like we're gonna go we're gonna still try and have fun and we're gonna still try to hold on to what little bit of magic that we know still will be there. But it's just not gonna be the same. And uh, I'm asking everyone who happens to see this video or happens to see my TikTok, please message the executives. Spread your voice of opinion on your social media platforms. Tell your friends and family that we're considering going to Disney. Maybe split stay it. Go to Universal for the majority of it. And then only, I mean, because it's the 50th anniversary. So everybody wants to go and experience that. And I get that. That's why we want to go so bad. I mean, it only happens once in a lifetime. 
but we've got to do something. Like they're not listening to us. They're not, and and the fact that that um, Pete from um, Diz Unplugged said what he said about how they consider like hold us in disdain and that they roll eyes at Disney fans. That just so gets under my skin. Like I'm just trying to get through to make this as normal and happy as possible for my granddaughter. And I'm hoping and praying that if enough of us get out and speak out against this, that they will realize it's us that they should be catering to, the customer, and not their pocketbook. But who knows? I mean, I could just be speaking into the wind. So anyway, that's my opinions on all of this. Now, if you follow our YouTube channel and you've been waiting to see how things are going with planning our trip, that's why I haven't posted since Halloween. Now, I have a vlog that I've been working on that doesn't get into all of this controversial issues. Um, that's just about us getting ready to go to the parks and some of the things that we've been doing in our lives. And I will go back to that. And I will go back to how we are going to budget this vacation to make it even easier for us to have fun and still have the magic and still have a blast and still be able to purchase things and still be able to show you guys what we love about Disney and what we love about the Disney parks, even with all of the other stuff, it's like a cloud hanging over top of us. So um, I'm hoping that it will be a fun journey <laughs> like it always has been, but I don't know. I really don't know. Like I'm, I'm kind of sad because this is something that I really enjoy doing. I love doing, sharing this stuff, not just for you guys, but for us to be able to look back on. But it's been like since 2019, like it literally has been a very frustrating roller coaster. I mean, when we went in 2020, we weren't able to go to the parks at night. So you can see my like frustration and my upsetness about that. And then when I went in May with Aubrey and it was just me and her, it was my frustration over having to wear the masks all during the day, like throughout the parks all the time. Like I'm glad that's changed. And now we only have to wear it when we go inside. But there's just so many like, like this Disney Genie Plus thing is, is nuts. It's just, it's like, I don't understand why they're doing this. I don't get it other than it's about greed and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the greed that's going on in politics and in the world. I'm just sick of all of it. And now it's affecting even the one thing that I could escape that craziness from by going to Disney World. It's now infiltrating in that too. And it's doing it in my pocketbook and it's doing it in like the experiences that we're going to be having. So this may be a few of my last vacations that we ever take to Walt Disney World. And if we ever do it again in the future, it will be where we're at Universal and then we just go over to Disney. So, and I love Universal too, but it's just different. The whole reason why you love Disney is something that like Universal is awesome but it's just, it's different. I don't know how to explain it other than it's just the magic that Disney is supposed to be is why I go and sharing it with my family. And if that dies, if the magic dies, then I have no other choice but to try and find the magic somewhere else. So anyway, those are my thoughts and I hope you stay with us through this crazy time. And I hope that this gives you some encouragement to get out and make your voice known about how you feel about these changes and being honest. That's the biggest thing. Like we can't be afraid that that's going to make Disney mad. We have to um, not be afraid to speak our voices and to let them know that this is not okay. And uh, yeah, so... Anyway, 
All right, guys, that's it for today's video. And uh, leave me a comment down below if you're feeling the same kind of frustrations and fears that I have and uh, what you're doing if you're changing your plans, if you're choosing to do Universal instead of going to Disney, um, if you've already been, what you thought, were there other things that are irritating you that you're frustrated with with Disney parks that needs to be voiced. Um, and hopefully enough of us will be able to make a difference to where they finally wake up and realize what they're doing and that they will finally get back to focusing on the magic instead of focusing on the dollar. So anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys in our next video. Love you. Peace out. Bye.